a motor car is moving with a velocity of 108 km per hour and it takes 4 seconds. So, for our understanding, I am taking a motor car that is moving with a velocity of 108 km per hour and it takes 4 seconds to stop. Imagine that the driver is applying the brake and the car comes to rest. The car comes to rest. Okay, so the final velocity will be equal to 0 and by applying the brake. Okay, calculate the force exerted by the brake on the motor car if it mass along with the passenger is 1000 kilogram. So, a passenger is here. Along with the passenger, the car, the mass of the car is equal to 1000 kilogram. So, the initial, initially it is moving with the velocity u equal to 108 kilometer per hour. The final velocity will be equal to 0. And here, we have to calculate the force exerted by the brakes. We know from the second law, F is equal to F is equal to m into v minus u by t. m v minus m u is the change in uh, momentum by time. So, force is defined as the rate of change of momentum. So, here mass it is given in terms of kilogram then no problem with this. But here it is uh, the initial velocity is given in as 108 kilometer per hour. It has to be converted to meters per second. Okay, we do the conversion now. U is equal to 108 kilometer per hour. This can be written as 108 into 1, 1 kilometer per hour. And uh, so, 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meters. 1 hour equal to 3600 seconds. If I substitute in this in the above equation, I am going to get 108 into 1000 meter by 3600 seconds. So, if I cancel two zeros and two zeros, this become 5, this become 18. So, and after this, uh, if I try to cancel uh, this uh, 18 and uh, 108, I am going to get uh, 6 times it is going to be. So, the uh, value what I am getting is 30 meter per second. So, 108 kilometer per hour that will be equal to 30 meter per second. Now, I got the value in terms of meter per second. Now, we are going to calculate the force and F is equal to the mass, uh, mass of the car along with the person. Uh, that is going to be that is going to be thousand kilograms. So I am writing thousand, and uh, the final velocity will be equal to zero minus the initial velocity is thirty meter per second. That is divided by the time t. The time it acts, uh, it's going to be four seconds. So I am dividing it by four. So f is equal to 1000 into minus 30 divided by 4 and uh, if I cancel uh, these two uh, things it is going to be uh, 250 into minus 30 mm, and uh, if I simplify this uh, entire equation I am going to get uh, minus 7500 Newton. So, the force value I am getting it as minus 7500 Newton and there is a negative sign. Okay, why that is a negative sign means it tells us that the force exerted by the brake in opposite direction to the motion of the car. Subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for important updates.